Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to the Guide Principles. And I'm sitting here. We're doing a video podcast with my guest. You're up, William. William, can hey, you everybody. Hear me? Yeah, it's William from yeah. Junior Line. Hi, everybody. Yeah, we're trying a new setup, guys, because he's. Uh, Welcome to the God Principles, guys. There's some stuff going on. We haven't been on for a while, and uh, oh, my eyes itching. Um, so we're trying out this new setup because, William, you're on. Tell them what, what's going on. Well, how's everybody? Welcome to the God Principles. Uh, it's good to see everybody again. I'm, you remember me. I'm William. Well, here in the Philippines, some things have come up for me. In the last uh, a month or so, I have a nephew that I'm very close to back in the USA in Pennsylvania, and he he was found non-responsive, so he's passed away. And I'm the patriarch of the family, so I was already going to go. I had to go back to the U.S. in June anyway to take care of some business with my house in the USA in Pennsylvania. But as it, as as it would as as things happen, I'm going to have to go back a couple months early. So I'm leaving to go back in uh, April 4th. I have my ticket to go back to the USA and take care of some things, and especially pertaining to my nephew passing away. Yep. And so um, that's why we haven't been recording lately. And the uh, other thing is, is that I've been working with uh, brothers in the Philippines. We're going to be doing a whole lot more podcasting. Um, from Thailand, we're gonna we got some other YouTubers that we've got in touch with. They were here for a breakfast meeting. One was from Thailand, another one's from uh, the True Girls here in the Philippines. So we're gonna be bringing them into uh, for some video sessions. So we have a lot more content coming for you to to give you some more variations and more information. Now that being said, William had a conversation and he wanted to bring it up and we wanted to talk about it. Go ahead, William. I, as, 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 as it would be, you know, every time that I'm meeting new, there's a lot of new expats moving to the Philippines and, and in particular to the complex that Charles and I are living in. Um, the subdivision we're living in, there are new expats moving here and in the area. When you go to the malls, you get the, you're meeting new uh, expats that are coming daily, really. And so I got a chance to talk to one. We talk. I I happened to have a baseball hat on at that time, which was the Philadelphia Phillies. And he said, "Oh, you're a Philadelphia Phillies fan?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, I like the Atlanta Braves. We're 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 uh, sworn enemies." Yeah. I said, "Yeah, that we we don't like the Braves, and the Braves don't like us." I said, but that don't have to be, we don't have to be enemies. He laughed, I laughed, and, and we got to talking. And he was telling me the situation that he had, he was in an LDR. True story, guys. As Charles says on his shorts, you can't make this stuff up. And, <laughs> and, and so, so we were talking, and he's telling me that he'd known his LDR for a few months. When he comes over, she's going to be living with him, and she was working. She was making $140 to $240, I, I forget exactly the amount, a month, U.S., uh, whatever that adds up to, 5000 to 10000 Philippine pesos a month. Um, she's working six days a week, uh, 10 hours a day. So he was saying she's not going to be able to spend a lot of time with him. She's going to be cooking whatever she needs to do. And remember, it's the first time they're meeting uh, mm -hmm. in person. And so he decided. And he told me this. He said, William, I decided to bring her off her job because she's also sending money out of there to her parents to support her older parents and sister. And so he said that um, I'm going to pay her a salary that she can just take care of the house, do the things at the house that, that we're, I'm going to get in the, the complex. And I said, really? I said, but sight unseen? 
package not open? And and, and he Ooh. said, I said, well, what are you thinking about giving her? And he said about $600 a, a month. That's what he told me. That's 30,000 Philippine pesos. Sight unseen, guys. And so he was going to pay her probably as much as a doctor here is making um, a month. And I, I was saying to him, I looked at him, and I didn't really say anything. I just said, well, that's your, that, that, maybe that's what you want to do. I said, I wouldn't advise it. But, you know, I just, I walked away thinking, come on, guys. We got to be better than that. We got to be better than that. We're, we're messing up the ecosystem here. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he, he is messing. If he would, if he does that, he's messing it up for every expat that comes in the future. Because he would, he would be paying her wages that are unheard of here. To do what? Sight unseen? Unheard? <laughs> so I, I just, I just thought that. Don't do that, guys, if you come here. Don't do that. Yeah, this is, that's a good story. Because it's like, I said, $600 a month. It's like, with this Filipino great man, price is going to go up. I just saw a video about this. The girls up there in the mountains, they say, are they becoming westernized? They say, yep. They're upgrading their mindset their requests based on what they're being exposed to, not realizing that it's unrealistic. It really is. Because I, I, I did this. I did already, what he told me. It's huh? already, had, already had a negative impact. My wife asked me, are you going to give me a raise? <laughs> she did. No, she did. Wow. Uh -oh. so, that, there was a that was no comment to that question. <laughs> well, you know, so William, something is going on though. Because I had somebody knock on my door asking if I needed a housekeeper. And it's like, that's really bothering me though. That's really bothering me because how do they know? that I don't have a housekeeper right now. And so now that's one of the things I'm saying, I'm not hiring nobody. I'm just not, you know, I got a, a reference from one of the guys in the complex, but I'm not hiring nobody coming to my door. I'm not doing that. Nope. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I, <laughs> I have a friend, I'm scared. <laughs> I have a friend, I won't mention any names, but I have a friend, good friend. And when he came over here, he came from the U.S. He's an expat, he's still living here. He's doing well. But the maintenance people sent a girl to his door, and she waited on him while he was on another island. He never met her. They sent her to his door. She waited outside on the couch that sat outside the condo. And she's still there. That was two, two years later. She's still there. If you mean she never met that girl? She and never left. She she's still there. She's his girlfriend, I guess now, or or as he would call it, my full time my full time maiden guy. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know what you're talking about. You mean he never met her? He came there and she was there and he accepted her. She must, have said, the, she must have said the magic words or something. I don't know, but that's the way it went down. That, that's deep, just to set up a stranger. You don't know anything about her. Uh, that just seems strange, William. I just, no, uh-uh. He had, he had to have had some type of contact with her beforehand. Had to. He said he had a conversation with her before he left to go to the other island. Ah, okay, that's better. Because I that's can't believe you just come in there. Do you remember a show, Charles, called The Twilight Zone? Here we go. Here we go. What's the you guy? Do you remember what the guy, Rod Serwin, used to say in the beginning? You have now entered the land of twilight. 
We go yeah. twilight zone. Nah. This is this is this is this is the twilight zone. It ain't it ain't Kansas no more, Darkie. And you know something, William? It might actually be changing. It really is because I looked at. It's not a coincidence that I go to the our monthly breakfast, and now we're running into people from other countries. Like the guy, I'm a, his name is Rome. I forget the name of his show, but he comes out of Thailand. He's here visiting, and he was actually a featured channel on the True Girls, which are a group of girls that live near the uh near the poor people's zone they live down near there and it's like oh people it's like god is bringing things into the picture you know what i'm saying you know how not you and i talk about it it's like wait a minute these are not coincidences happening yeah like, <laughs> just just to tell you today his wife cooked some food right and she said that i want to buy a plate and that's told him, no, I don't eat that kind of stuff. And then when I hung up, I thought about it. I said, I should have said yes, because then I wouldn't have to cook. And then she decided to bring it over here anyway. It was just like, hey, William, I was just thinking that. I never said a word. It was like God was, was in my thoughts. That was, that was like, wait a minute. I didn't say that. But it just happened. And I'm starting to see things happening just from thinking about it so um that's what's really going on um i mean it's 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 what we learn what, what i'm learning i should say is we've been here about a year and a half living straight through yeah. you, yourself and me and, and i would say that what i'm learning is that it, it's just we have to it takes about at least a year at least a year or more, but at least a year to get yourself adjusted to the way things go here. Because you have to rethink the way you're Western thinking. It, it's not the way it is. Over here is almost the opposite of the way it, things go over there. Relationships go way faster. There's not a long dating process here. If, if, if you date a girl a couple times, she thinks she's your girl. You know, it's, that's the way she's ready to move in unless you say no and that doesn't happen in the west it doesn't happen in the west and things move real fast here and and a lot of guys come over here and they get caught up in that and not understanding that this ain't kansas this is ours so different <laughs> we got somebody growing up right now you know he had this girl come over and say can i bring a friend and he, she let them both come in. The food ain't left yet. That's it. And, and he said, you think you're going to have to leave the city to get rid of it? Yeah. That's what I think, man. That is messed up. You know, you get, when they get in and they camp, they put up camp, you're in trouble. Because that's yeah. why that story you just said she was working. Get one that's working at least at least long enough for you to get acclimated to the relationship so that you're not obligated to support her until she can go get back on her feet if you want to get rid of her. I made that mistake myself because I was more I was more confident that the relationship was gonna work until I met her. And the problem was she had never lived with anyone. So she was running into things that she had never experienced because she's never lived with a man before. As a matter of fact, she'd never been in a long-term relationship. And so now she was have to rethink what she wanted. And uh, I had to let her go and then get you all caught up, like what's going on? Just to let you know, I started dating a new one um, for the month. It's going to take her to the Cordova breakfast. So I said, cool, you know, she was a nanny over here, young girl, 28 years old, attractive. And I say, cool, you know, 
We go down to the mall, thinking I'm gonna buy a couple of outfits. And she comes back with a shopping cart full of clothes. And I had to put some of them back. I spent about 6,000 pesos. Now 6,000 pesos, just for reference, is about 120 bucks. Slightly less, because it's about $18 for a thousand. But then I learned, I, I was suspecting something was going wrong, but then later on, one of the, my housekeeper comes by and says, the girl was scared to tell me that her girlfriend, which was her employer, was with her, had put some clothes in the shopping cart too. And they didn't want to, she didn't tell me. And she, she said she was sorry. So I went along with it because I was trusting my housekeeper. So, okay, this is just, I suspected it. However, when it came time for her to, uh, for us to go away for the weekend, all of a sudden she can't go, we get into a big thing and she doesn't go on the trip. However, she's supposed to come back but then when she comes back, she has to go out and work and she decided she wasn't going to do that. I found out later, because somebody called me on Facebook Messenger, that the woman is married. I, I mean, this just happened a few days ago. So right now, it's like, I'm, I'm kind of shell shocked. <laughs> anyway, wait a I, I, right now, I got too much going on. And I don't need any, all this drama going on. I just don't. I just no. don't. I'm, I'm, I just got out of school. I still go to school, you know, even though, you know, I'm, I'm in that seniors class, I still have a youthful mindset. So I'm, I'm in school. I just finished a five-day class. And so now I'm fixing to start interviewing people around the world. Like I got them from India, the United States, Australia, and be putting them on my other YouTube channel. Because the reason I'm telling you this is like, if you're gonna re move here, we don't really retire. That's, that's a misnomer, unless you got that kind of, even those with that money, they don't do that. They come here and they find something else to keep them busy. If it's no more than raising somebody else's family, they do that too. What you got, William? Well, I think that I, I think that you know our 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 listeners and watchers, those that are planning to come here uh, to the Philippines, just understand from what we're saying that the biggest ally that you have here is patience. I mean, because patience is going to tell you if you got the right woman. Patience is going to tell you if you're living in the right location. Patience is going to tell you everything that you need to know. If you rush here you're normally going to, going to be wrong because everything moves fast here. You have to make sure you don't move fast because everything does move fast. And, and so what I'm learning is that whatever they were doing, whatever, as far as relationships, whatever the girl was, she was surviving before you got here and she'll survive if you weren't here. And yep. I'm, if they're working, let them keep working, let them do whatever yep. it is. They were doing before you got here and as time goes by and as relationship gets longer and longer and longer even like has happened with my wife you'll find out what's real because as charles was saying you you could be talking to an ldr for quite a while and this this woman could have kids on some island being watched by an eye and telling you she doesn't have any kids you know so you just have to take your time with everything here don't buy anything right away don't rush out and buy a car a motorcycle, a house, nothing. Be patient, take your time, enjoy yourself for a while, and be more observed. Watch more than talk. That's what I'll say. That's good. That's good advice, guys. Because, and even even if you do, circumstances can change, and a heartbeat around here. You never know. Uh, Something may happen in her family. Uh, I've seen him get sick. I've seen her get sick. So um, be sure you have a plan B on your own. Yeah. That's my, and, 
my suggestion. Don't count on anything here with these women here at all. You know, even I, I, I mean, even I, when he's got a wife, you never know what's gonna happen. I echo what Charles is saying. Have a plan A, plan, a plan B and C. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And have an exit strategy too. He's yes. he's right. He's like, be sure you have a credit card. If you can need to get out of here, you can just walk out the door. I'm serious. And, 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 and what's happening with me is putting an exclamation point on that. If I didn't have enough to get the plane back to take care of my business, you got to have, if you don't have anything, if you don't have anything but your monthly income, make sure you got enough to go home. Yep. yep. Don't come here. Absolutely. And uh, along those lines, let's see, we've been talking for, I guess, long enough. I just want to let you all know that Brothers in the Philippines, we've launched our website. The link is going to be in the description. You can subscribe to Brothers in the Philippines. We'll be putting out newsletters, updates to the website. If you plan on coming here, the resources are in place for you to uh, get contacts for the right places to stay. So that if you at least come to Cebu, I ain't speaking about any place else because that's the only place we, we, we're hanging out right now, um, that you will have somebody that you could talk to, reach out to, and help you plan a safe trip. And we look forward to seeing you here. Uh, there's something else I want to cover the top. Uh, William, is, well, let's go down a spiritual path for a minute. Let's go down the path of abundance. And remember how we talked about, I just want to make sure people understand that, is that when you come here, we buy time. Remember how we talked about that? The yes. fact that, that when we came here, it added years to our life, some longevity, because of the quality of work life we have. Yes. It has made our money go further. The yeah. stress has gone down. And all of these things have basically added up to more time on our lifespan. Yes. And how we perfectly, how we continue to use it can add even more time. The, they keep telling you, this, this is a spiritual thing I've been into right now. It says your most valuable asset is your time. Most yes. people think it's money. It's not. It's yeah. your time. And anytime you get a chance to buy time, you should yeah. do it. You should do right? it. For real. I was told a long time ago, you've never seen a U-Haul truck following a hearse. So yeah. that's the truth. You, you can't take your money with you. But if you got more time, you can spend it. Yeah. That's, that's why rich people live so long. Because yeah. they didn't bought time. See, they're able to go to better doctors that gives them better health care, which means they live longer. They don't have the kind of health issues that everybody has because they got the money to buy time. Yeah. That's what's important. You got to be able to buy time. And we coming here to the Philippines, we done bought a whole bunch of time. And I'm still going at it. I'm, I'm fixing to uh, find money making opportunities to extend the amount of time I can purchase. Because the one of the things that you're going to need here is you're going to need money, and money is what buys you freedom. Yeah, That's what I, we talk about. We came here and we found freedom from all those messed up belief systems, what's going on in America, don't matter here. Um, as a matter of fact, I saw a thing about black women coming here. Wait. It's like, <laughs> black women. I saw that they started to move America and even consider coming here. I said, like, darn it. I, well, I'm going to have to go up here in the province. If we don't really come here, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go somewhere where I won't go. You got to think that's right. Well, I'll just say that, you know, when I do return to the uh, USA, after a year and a half, I know it's going to be a culture shock for me. 
and I'm sure that Charles will will be able to do a, a video from there. So I'll be able to tell you guys what uh, the difference is right off the hand, right off the bat. <laughs> That's going to be a hell of a video. That's going to be a hell of a video to see how it is. You, when you go there and you can show us, now how do you feel? It's going to be something. It's nice talking to y'all. Y'all hit subscribe, hit like, hit share. Look in the description for more information, and we'll see you next time. See you guys.